Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain what RabbitMQ is and how it fits into real world backend systems using a complete e-commerce example that shows the entire workflow from a customer placing an order to everything that happens behind the scenes. If you are a developer trying to understand what a message broker does or how services can communicate without being directly connected, this video is for you. Let's walk through it step by step using clear examples. Let's say you are building an online store, a customer comes in, adds a phone to their cart and clicks the place order button. Your backend, let's call it the order service, now has to do multiple things. It needs to check the inventory and reserve the product. It needs to process the customer's payment and it needs to send a confirmation email once everything is done. Now imagine if your order service made direct calls to every other service, the inventory service, the payment service and the email service one after the other. That might work at first but there's a big problem. If even one of those services is down or slow, your entire order flow breaks. If the payment service is delayed, the order service waits. If the email service is offline, the whole flow can get stuck or crash. This approach creates tight coupling. Every service becomes dependent on the others being available at the exact moment of the request. That's hard to scale, hard to maintain and definitely not reliable. This is where RabbitMQ comes in. RabbitMQ is what we call a message broker. It sits between your services and helps them communicate through messages, not direct calls. And the key to how RabbitMQ works is something called an exchange. Instead of sending messages directly to queues, producers like the order service send messages to an exchange. The exchange then routes those messages to one or more queues based on predefined rules. So now instead of calling other services directly, the order service just sends one message like order placed to an exchange. That exchange receives the message and decides which queues to send it to. Maybe one for inventory, one for payment, one for email. Each message sits safely in its queue until the right service is ready to process it. Let's walk through a full example using RabbitMQ and an exchange. A customer places an order. The order service saves it in the database and then sends a message, let's say order placed, to a fanout exchange in RabbitMQ. That fanout exchange instantly routes the message to three queues, one for inventory, one for payment and one for email. Each service is connected to its own queue. The inventory service receives the message and reserves stock. The payment service processes the charge. The email service sends the confirmation email. They all saw the same event order placed but handled it independently. If the email service is down, that message just stays in its queue. The other services aren't affected. That's the reliability RabbitMQ and exchanges bring to your system. This is the real power of RabbitMQ with exchanges. Exchanges make it possible to broadcast a single message to many services or filter messages based on type, key or pattern. Your order service doesn't need to know who needs the message. It just sends it to the exchange. RabbitMQ and the exchange do the rest, routing it to the right queues, holding the message safely and delivering it when each service is ready. You can even configure different exchange types like fan out, direct or topic, depending on how you want to route your messages. Want to add a new service like one that sends push notifications? Just bind another queue to the same exchange no changes to the order service at all. So what is RabbitMQ? It's a message broker, a tool that lets services talk through messages without calling each other directly. It uses exchanges to route those messages. A producer sends a message to an exchange. The exchange sends the message to one or more queues. Consumers like your backend services pick up messages from their queues and process them. If a service is offline, the message stays in the queue. If a message fails, RabbitMQ can retry it or hold on to it. That's what makes it reliable and safe. And because exchanges control how messages are routed, your system becomes flexible and easy to evolve over time. Alright, this is a quick overview of RabbitMQ.